Hey y'all, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. My name is Corey Ashton and today we're going to be looking at that login screen that every WordPress website has. Should we for security reasons be blocking that or hiding it? Had a lot of you ask me that over the last couple of months and I thought, why don't we address it? If you're interested in my health journey, I'll address that as well at the end of this video. But for now, let's get to the tutorial. So we all know that every WordPress website out there has the ability to log in directly through the browser by going to your domain name.com or whatever it might be forward slash wp-login.php or wp-admin. Either one of those gets you to that same login screen that we all know so well, but so do the brute force attackers and anybody trying to hack your website, right? Whether it's a robot or person just coming to knock on that door and try to get into your website. So you want to be certain to have really great security in place. And one of the options could be using a plugin to actually hide this particular URL and not allow anybody to type it in directly and see that login screen. I'll show you a couple options right now and give you some of my best advice, what I think are best practices. So an option for you could be this particular plugin, hide login page. Um, I have used this before in the past. I do recommend it. However, I will say this. Uh, it only has 10,000 active installs as of today. It might have more, obviously, if you're viewing this video later on uh, down the line. And it's not really up to date with the version of WordPress that I'm running right now. So with that being said, I want you to always think about finding a plugin that is very viable and um, in your budget, first of all, right, that you can afford, whether it's free or pr uh, premium, and you have to pay a license fee for it. And, and as well as be certain that it's uh, got really great reviews, and it's, it's uh, current, uh, really great ratings, and easy for you to uh, understand and navigate, right? Another way you can handle uh, this type of extra security is by adding an SSL to your website, that encrypted security. Another way to handle it is by your hosting company. And that's really what I recommend, doing this type of level of security at the server side. So talking to somebody like Liquid Web, you guys know that's who I absolutely admire uh, and, and love and, and I host with. So what you want to have here is a hosting company that allows like two-step authentication for you, uh, SSLs. Uh, maybe they themselves have specialized, just like Liquid Web, inside of the WordPress community. So they have their ear to the ground as well, listening to any sort of uh, conversations about high-level plugins that are being targeted these types of attacks and they know if your website is actually running that plugin so that they can come and help add that extra security in place and be certain that that plugin is up to date. These are all the important steps that you need to be taking to be certain that your website does not get hacked. And another thing to keep in mind is that very easily your website can not only be hacked from this login screen but can also have injectable code dropped into any of your forms. That's why it's just another really great reason to have a great hosting company supporting your particular website, making certain that you have backups in place. I always preach that to you all, right? Be certain you have a backup in place that's running 24 seven and you know how to get to that backup and roll that website back in case it does get hacked or anything goes awry. So I hope this helps. If you're able to add in one of these plugins that'll give you a better option for security, go for it. If you're able to talk to your hosting company, see what options they might have. This could be one extra step of level of security to be certain that your WordPress website is safe online. I hope y'all are having a great one. Stick around if you're interested in my health journey. We'll talk more about that next. Well, y'all, it has been a, a crazy last month of my life. On July 2nd, 2019, I was diagnosed with cervical cancer. And here it is now, uh, a few weeks later, four weeks later or so, and I am just getting ready to start uh, chemo and radiation next week uh, to, to uh, kick cancer's tush and be certain that I survive uh, all this. Uh, right now, they are labeling it as stage three, so it is a little bit more advanced. Turns out I have been living with chronic pain for the last 19 months of my life, and nobody was able to find this tumor. Um, so thankfully, they found it now. We're very hopeful for a, a curable outcome in all of this. And I know and I feel so much support from all of y'all. Man, all the comments y'all have given me, 
Thank you so much. And I'm not completely up to speed yet on my energy, but I'm going to do my best to, to give us a video at least once a week still and uh, hopefully help y'all continue to build your online presence, your, your online business, uh, to grow your profit margin, to grow your freelance agency, or whatever it is you're trying to build, your blog, your business site, whatever that looks like. So thank you for your encouragement. All the tweets, man. Matt, you're amazing to put out that video for me. Thank you so much for doing that. What just mind-blowing how this WordPress community circles up together. So thank you so much for that encouragement, y'all. And um, all the tweets and all the comments on the videos, you're just blessing my heart. So stick around with me. I'll continue to keep you as updated uh, as I know stuff. Um, we did get a PET scan done, and the word is that so far the cancer is nowhere else in my body. So that's a huge praise the Lord, uh, go God moment for me. Um, so all right, I will see y'all around online and maybe even at a WordCamp or two. So be sure to stick around. I'll see y'all next WordPress Wednesday. Bye, everyone.